Hey, happy Friday. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for the 29th of November 2019. Bonefire Tara once again for us. And I hope you had fabulous celebrations yesterday if you were celebrating. Uh, yeah, I hope it's carrying over into the weekend for you. Let's take a look at our card from the bottom of the deck. This is a potential theme in the day for us. We have the Four of Pentacles. All right, let's start with the highlights. A four is super stable. <laughs> Wait, is that it? No. <laughs> this is a card of hanging on, gripping, actually. Hanging on to something and... Uh, goodness, I was listening to a tarot reader speak on it just the other day, and how this is an opportunity to let go of something stubborn within us, and it can be a way of thinking, being, feeling, stubbornly hanging on to it because it is satisfying our resistance to not move forward. Hmm. So it is a four and it is stable and it's an invitation for us to, to do just that, to let go of the resistance. Consider it, let's see what it connects to. Yeah, seven of swords. This is a tough card. You know, it's one of those that we get the collective gasp on when we turn it over too. Uh, it does get a bit of a bad rap. It, it's really labeled the thief, and uh, it's apt, though we overlook what's being stolen. And in stubborn resistance to moving forward, we can be robbing ourselves of joy, happiness, and fulfillment. You know, we've seen uh, we've seen the death card more than once this week. And the message on the death card is simultaneous endings and beginnings. That's at the heart of that card. What I'm feeling, what my guides are saying here, is there's a fulcrum right there in the simultaneous endings and beginnings. And we could, we could be feeling the rush of energy off the chariot yesterday. Um carrying us along and there's the desire to be carried along in that swift moving determined energy and then there's also that other experience we've had this week in the cards of one foot on the brake and one on the gas simultaneously that's the four and something's got to give something's got to let go because we cannot sustain this being robbed of joy energy on the seven. It's just not, um, it's not productive for us. We stew on things. We turn them over in our thoughts, and that's where we drain away our own joyful, happy energy. So we've got to move on from that. Sevens and tarot, remember, are about heaven touching earth, and that happens within our own heart space. <clears throat> Pardon. So we'll get uncomfortable enough to finally let go of something over here. <laughs> But what are we letting go to? <laughs> Perfect. The sun. The happiest card in tarot. The happiest. So when we get, um, when we've had enough of this, this is what awaits us. So stew on it. Be in resistance. Whatever it takes. Hang out there in that fulcrum point of simultaneous endings and beginnings. Watch it all unfold. Be a great witness to it. Take away the best experience you can from it. Really garner your gains there. And then let go into the sun's energy. Love, bliss, happiness, connection, collaboration, unity, mm, freedom. And then... Look at this, so beautiful. We're going to turn that four into this ten, the ten of pentacles, ten of coins, long-term happiness and fulfillment. So uh, this is really short and sweet. 
And that's how the shuffle happened today, too. These four cards fell out together. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice, direct, easy message. You hang out and get the best you can out of these cards, the four and the seven. And when you're ready to let go, this is what you're landing in, the sun's energy. And it's creating your long-term happiness and fulfillment. <laughs> How sweet is that? Be easy and gentle with yourself in this four and seven process, too. No judgments, no harsh words. Just allow. Just allow, because what you've been holding in your heart space, what you've been intending for, manifesting for, dreaming of, that hasn't gone anywhere. It's right here, waiting for you <laughs> to step into. Okay, two cards have fallen out. The first is listen to your intuition. Yes, we've had this message in repetition this week. Our our gifts are amplified and readily available to us. We don't have to go searching and not knowing. It's there. And then our next card falling out is romance. You are the love of your life. So love yourself through this four and seven process and then come beautifully into the sun's energy in the ten. Next card. <laughs> big happy changes. You know it. It's the happy that makes the big changes. Beautiful. What a sweet reading for Friday. A nice way to go into our weekend. And our affirmation card from the universe has your back. Energy flows where my intention goes. It certainly does. And this is where it's flowing and going. It's in going into the sun and it's going into our ten of coins. Long-term happiness, fulfillment. You do the work over here that requires doing. You give yourself the love, the care, and the energy that you require to make the big happy changes. Listen to your intuition. Love yourself first and best because then you have that to offer all of your other relationships. And then you create your ten. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Again, I hope you've had a happy Thanksgiving and wonderful celebrations. I do hope they're continuing to roll out for you. And I will see you soon. I'm going to start the December readings, so be on the lookout for those. Bye for now, everyone. Peace, love, joy, and happiness.